Hello everyone, welcome today to this show match we have, right? Gaming versus Fierce Esports, hopefully getting underway now. I am your caster and host for today at Rory Rogue. Oh, that's not a great start. We are going to get into the... Well, I believe it will be a knife round to start. So thank you all for joining us today. Uh, it's going to be a fun matchup. Obviously, right, gaming a female team. I've been having a quick look at the uh, some of the players. Hopefully, should be um, able to put up a good fight against Fierce. Obviously, Fierce having to field a few players that uh, don't play in the main roster. Carcass and Capers make well. Capers makes his return. Carcass will stand in for them tonight. Right, gaming playing for their full roster. Pull elite, firing goal. Adeline, Natty, and Moda. Sorry if I butchered that because uh, my. Uh, I can't really uh, pronounce these names for some reason, so I think it's just my accent, maybe my brain. I do hope you're all still as excited as uh, I am to get started. Obviously, a little bit later than expected, however, it should be uh, should be getting started now. It looks like the pistol round will go live. It's going to be five sets of armor for the CTs. Obviously, fierce starting on that CT side. Right, gaming side from the T side. They will match five armor as well. It looks like they are going to make their way towards Squeaky. Possibly just going to be a straight up A burst. Obviously they have no utility to go off of, so it's going to be quite difficult to get onto the site, especially with the aim of Fierce. They've actually taken aim and control. They've got the information. They're still rotating towards A, though. They've possibly heard some steps towards Squeaky. Adeline does get the first kill with the Capers there as Moda takes down Emma. Now the site take will come out. Carcass gets a kill towards Quad. He actually gets a double kill there as well. He gets a triple kill from Quad. Hype comes in with a flank as well. Absolutely brilliant stuff from Carcass. has started off four kills, four headshots. Brilliant by him. If there is any uh, audio issues or anything or it's too quiet, too loud, please do tell me. I'm using a new, uh, new audio setup for today. So obviously uh, a bit new to this kind of uh, audio. It's just going to be an M4 for Carcass, an M4 for Hype as well, three MP9s, an Eco for the T side as well. Hype has pushed all the way through B. Zeman gets a kill in mid cape. He's just going to get one as well. Two kills all in round four, the fierce esports side. F San takes down Moda as well. Capers will get a second in the round. A fair amount of damage done with these Glocks. Unfortunately, they're not be able to find any kills. Adeline now just on the A site by her lonesome. I'm sure Fierce are hunting for those Ecos, and they are hype. We'll finish the round off. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. The buy does come out now for Riot Gaming. He's going to be awful motor. There is actually no armor on her, though. So it's going to be full glass cannon. A limited amount of utility for the T side as well. However, I'm sure they can make it work if they can get the picks with that orb. It's going to be crucial, really, to try and make that work in this round. They are going for a boost towards highway, though, to see towards white box, I believe. Made it trying to spot towards highway, unfortunately. I don't think he's going to be able to see Carcass just yet. Carcass is going to peek, and that's a nice shot by Moda. A great boost coming out from Right Gaming to start off this first gun round. F San just waiting on the boost. No support in mid after Carcass has gone down. And then I was about to say, he's only got a Glock, but he has just picked up the M4. A bit of a bonus round for a couple of the players. Oh, that is going to be a sound heard by F San. It's going to be two players going on to boost for the T side now. Adeline and Moda. You all probably had his impact. So now Adeline is going to make her way out. And there we go. F San gets that kill with the MP9. He's stuck though. Hype invents to support him if anyone does decide to peek him. But Moda will get the kill. A good recovery there to bring it back into a situation. Well, an, a, an advanced situation. Hype's actually going to knife invents. He, he misses the second one as well. What is Hype doing? <laughs> Well, that works out well in the end for Hype. He misses the knife three times, but manages to get the kill from Bents. Anyway, that's the most important part. He is stuck outside of it now. Capers does try and make his way through the smoke. Unfortunately, Pulley will shut him down. Hype stuck alone in the vents, and that's a nice shot by Pulley. As Emmy makes his way through the smoke, he gets that kill, but Moda will finish it off the impact on that glass cannon. Fantastic stuff from her as they get their first round and get the first gun round. A 
bit of a whiff in vents there towards Hype. Not sure how that out well, played out in the round, the rest of the round, that is. Uh, still, probably uh, didn't give his confidence any sort of boost. It's going to actually be the glass cannon for k -Piz here. Natty's gone for the deagle. No one able to drop, it seems. Possibly a UMP could have gone her way. She doesn't seem to have gotten a lot of utility with her deagle as well. Moda on boost of the orb. Misses that shot. Marcus going for the peak for highway as well, the double mid control. Oh, Moda misses the second shot as well, or he needs to be hitting that Zemin. He gets a kill towards A main pushing, that's the information gained and the initial kill. Again, Moda misses that shot towards connector. Emin close towards A main. Does push in, Moda finally hits her shot there, and it's an important one. That could open up the A site, but the rotate coming in from highway for Carcass, F San, and Carcass hit. Marcus able to take down Poli is actually, uh, it must be f -San and Hype on the site. It was. Natty takes down Hype. That does leave f -San. He needs to get the kill in the situation. He does. That takes down Adeline Moda. Goes down in the meantime towards a main. Natty not watching towards the site as well as f -San. He goes for the flank and that is a reset on to Riot Gaming. Good start for Carcass in this game. 6-1 to one currently, former teammate of Hype in Lithuania. It's just going to be Eco now. Full set of Pizza 50s apart from Moda has gone for the Deagle. Looks like they're pushing towards A main and Hype. He gets two free Deagle shots there. Three head... Well, I think... Yes, three headshots of the Deagle. And he makes up for that knife whiff now. It is only the eco, but still impressive shots coming out as that does leave Adeline in the one versus five and was not to beat. Quite a hard undertaking really to go for anything in that round. Hype is just going to continue to use the deagle it seems. Possibly believing they are obviously going to have to be on the second eco. Close mid control now being taken. Emin's going to go straight through the smoke. He does get one. He's going to take down a second as well of the MP9. Natty's going to make her way out of the boost. She's actually managed to bypass the rest of Fierce. The problem is now that can they get there in time? I think they've realised as well. The entirety of the Fierce team just going for the hunt. There's Moda. It does take down Emin. F's able to trade it. Carcass takes down Adeline and A main. And Natty will finish off Capers with a headshot. She is the last woman left alive. Oh, a nice headshot onto uh, Hype, though, as well. She is, unfortunately, in a bit of a sticky situation. She tries to pull out a knife and does get punished for it. f -San will finish her off. Hype continues to use the Deagle. Emin, I believe, has gone AFK, unfortunately. Yeah, let's just come back and we'll buy up the M4. Main nade on, I'll be main flash on to hype there to blind and temporarily delaying him from going through that smoke, which looked like his initial plan. Hape is on the other side of that smoke. And KBiz does get taken down by firing go. F Sane would take down Moda. Hype will pick up the M4 and fall back. Marcus able to get a kill with that all towards B. There's actually three players towards B now. Em and the lone sight player. If Riot Gaming execute quickly, that Molly is perfect. This forced him into two Mollies. He has used that smoke, though, to delay the T side temporarily. They are just going to flank around quad, though. The flash comes in, does blind Emin, but also blinds one of these quad players as Natty takes down F San. Hype will take down Natty. Emin comes in with a kill onto Paulie as Adam takes down Emin. It is the one versus two advantage to Fierce. Eagle picked out for Hype and Carcass will finish it off with an AWP shot onto Adelin. For anyone wondering why these two teams are currently playing each other, it is the well, Fierce Esports have decided to use one of their sponsors and Game Max have decided that they want to start who dare to win show match each month that uh, two teams will take on each other obviously fierce being one of them and another team will join that 
And it's just a, it's a lot of fun. A quick eco kill round there for the CT side as well. Just cleaning up the frags here on cash so far. Each match will be a best of three. It will take place every month, hopefully at least. Obviously, this is the first one going down. As right, gaming are the first challenger. This is Game Max UK who are hosting it, doing a fantastic job getting this organised. Obviously, in partnership with Fierce's Carcass does go down there in mid. F Sam will fall as well as hype. He will get taken out by Natty, the double orb on the T side, working out so far as Cape is the last man left alive. A 4v1 for the former Fierce player to get himself into this situation. Flanking through the T spawn, but Natty is aware of the position and she will peek out, get the orb short and the double orb working out perfectly now. Looking like she wants to go towards fast mid. That smoke will block her vision though as Hype is actually going to get boosted in connector. I believe Hype will find the shot onto Moda as well. Firing goal. Able to trade that back as Emin gets caught. Trying to peek from Squeaky. Oh, Hype tries to make the self boost with the AWP but unfortunately misses it. Lands straight into a molly as well. He is holding the angle, doesn't, oh he does hit the shot, but unfortunately does not find the kill. Hype will fall that Nice recovery from Natty. Brings the situation all in favour of this T side. Carcass trying to peek out as Capers does take down uh, Natty. Paulie will fall to f sign and Carcass and Capers will finish it off. 8-2, to do a reset onto Riot Gaming. Triple orb out for the CT side now in cash. Looks like it is going to be fast mid from all these T players, but they're just getting mowed down now as it is just firing. Go. Last one alive is Hype going for the knife. Is he going to be able to get it? He will make up for his previous mistake when he went to go for that knife in vents and gets the knife kill onto firing. Go. It's actually going to be the quad orb for Fierce as well. F sound that low in AK. There will be an eco for right gaming. Emmons actually made his way into squeaky, gonna close the door as well. Oh spots handling just on the right hand side of her body. I imagine she would have shown up on the mini map as well. Squeaky control being retaken now by this T side. This Kark has actually made his way onto the self boost and Capers will take down one. A main control now taken for the CT side. As Capers takes down firing goal. They're going to try and go out squeak. Unfortunately, they do not have the bomb control. Emin in A main with that AWP. One of the four AWPs. Natty manages to get the kill onto Hype and one of the AWPs. Unfortunately, though, she is not able to survive long with it. Three players towards B now. Looks like it is going to be the fire in line with the AWP. One shot missed by Capers. And Polly decides not to continue to peek that. Carcass gets taken down in mid. Capers nearly gets the headshot. Well, nearly gets headshot, but he will recover. Gets that kill on Tadley. Misses his second shot. It's firing girl. Takes down FCN towards the A side. That is the site open now. She has complete control of it. Hype is going to try and rotate in towards car and possibly catch anyone off. Coming from a main. Emin takes down Polly in the meantime. That's actually the bomb down towards a main. Or just outside a T spawn, I should say. But the CT side don't quite realise that as Hype does take down one towards A. He's dropped to one HP though. And then 
spots out firing go gets the quick scope onto her now he's going to continue to peek out moda is there he nearly hits the shot six hp in him capers and hype both low currently so certainly is a winnable situation for moda now she does go to try and recover the bomb. Plenty of time left in the round. She's actually going to pick up the orc, which is a bit of a mistake here. I don't think she realises the damage that's been done, or been done to the CG side. Okay, Piz trying to make the self-boost. It seems he's actually made it. Moda, though, has completely bypassed him and gone towards B. 20 seconds left on the clock, though. She's going to have to try and make away there fast now capers has realized though he's not going to hold back on his steps however moda will surely hear him and will just rush straight into that site oh she's planting it quite open though well that's a bit of a problem that's a smoke i'm not sure what she thought that was hype does get taken down she is just going to try and plant towards default capers obviously trying to use the time well picks out his p250 still winnable round he actually goes for the zeus does not hit the shot though no no scope hit oh no <laughs> again the no scopes miss it looks like capers will finally hit one and he'll finish off the round as it goes 11 to 2 in favor of fierce Triple AWP and an AUG out. A full scoped weapon still, though, for the CT side. Looks like it is going to be fast towards A main as they try and make their way out. Emma's going to hold it. He dinks down one and gets the kill onto Adeline as a firing goal. Tries to make her way out. Skiki, but Carcass will finish her off. Moda all getting tapped down by this AUG as F Sam finishes off Natty. And Paulie will get taken down by Emma. And that is a 12th round on the board for Fierce. Nice shot there by Fire and Girl to take down Fsan and take down Carcass as well at the same time. She's trying to go for more kills, but Emmon will find a double kill to bring it back into an even situation now. Oh, a nice headshot onto Adlin there as well as Hype gets spotted out by Paulie towards mid there. Emmon's gone to help out, and that is a fourth kill in the round for him, possibly going down for the ace. But Hype trying to peek out that nade may finish off. No, drop her to 16 HP as Capers is trying to go for the flank. Capers or oh, actually be hyped to wall bang her and it will be 13 to 2. A dominant first half on the CT side of cash here from this. It is all up to right gaming now to try and get a recovery out. It's going to be the double duelies. You love to see the duelies come out. Actually quite effective. Playing against them is very annoying. Oh, Adam is going to play towards the back quad. A nice dink there by Carcass. A good opening kill. He had a fantastic piss around on the CT side. He's going to push towards back vents as f -San takes her down. Natty, though, on the site. Managed to find a two kill. Going for the third, but Carcass is too good with the pistol. He does eventually go down, but Hype's coming out with the flank. Does get the kill. It's actually Capers and Hype to try and go out. <laughs> They're just trying to spell rap. Oh, well, Hype is trying to spray rapidly, but Capers taking the more sensible approach and just going for the taps with it. Hype's actually been dinked down by capers there have been tanks by capers as well we are not quite able to hit the shots of the usp <laughs> hype dropped to 2 hp running gets the headshot and it will be 14 to 2 a good first p oh it's a good second pistol round i should say for fierce the recovery not looking like it's going to happen just yet for riot F Sun gets the opening kill towards B main as Natty is the first one to full hype. We'll take one in mid. Capers will get that kill in uh, with the buys on. And there we go. Emin with the MP5. Carcass with that. Or uh, SG, I should say. 
And it is 15 to 2. By a dominant first map hit from the fierce side. Like it's going to be a couple of players going out fast towards B. The nades coming out. The molly actually hits F Sam. We a double molly now. Haggling gets that kill. Modo gets one as well, but Paulie will get traded out in mid. So a woman advantage for the CT side as Capiz takes down Fire and Girl Carcass takes out Natty as well. It's just going to be in there towards the quad area. It does manage to take down one, but it will be Carcass. Two versus two now. He really needs to try and get this kill towards quad. He is actually going to crouch out, and that will be perfect. That is an absolutely free kill for Carcass there as he plays it perfectly. Capers and CT with the SG will finish it off as it goes 16-2. to two, The first map of um, Catch. The next map will be Mirage. Thank you all for joining us so far. It's a fun first map. Fierce the better side however we'll just be right back a quick break a couple videos and some music will be put on while we wait for the <laughs>
for short. She's going to plant for short, but Capers, he's made his way out. He's got the timing right. He's going to work his way fully round the site. Oh, but Paulie, here's the scope. A bit of a mistake there by Capers, and she will punish him. A reset onto the CT side. Capers, unfortunately, not able to close it out of the 4K like he did in the round before. Smoke missed by Paulie. I think she forgot to hit her jump bind, possibly. It was just pistols now for the CT side, but they've been very deadly with it so far. Hype's actually made his way into under as well. Not an angle that Adeline would uh, be expecting, most likely. She does peek out a bit too early. And doesn't get the timing correct. He's dropped to 8 HP, surviving with just his toes intact, it seems, at this point. His carcass is going to shift his way into the bottom of connector, trying to take down Adeline, but unfortunately not able to hit the shots. As firing go towards Apps, she is stuck in a bit of a sandwich there, and it will be capable to take her down. Natty does get a kill in the meantime, but it will be Carcass who finishes Natty off with a brilliant Deagle headshot. Man advantage now to the CT side as Carcass does get taken down. Adeline takes down Capers, but Emin towards CT, possibly going to go down. It's just going to be the double peak coming out. His angle's being held, a brilliant shot by him. Paulie now in the one versus two, and Height will finish her off with a headshot. Unnecessary she was for HP, but nonetheless, he finishes it off, and that's actually a reset now put onto the right gaming side. It's just going to be a fast out mid as Carcass does get taken down. Does manage to get a kill though. So it's not all bad I suppose. And wow the nade damage being thrown out by Hype. The AK coming in as well. And Emin will finish it off with a jumping M4 on the even. Steven situation comes up as it goes 3-3. towards ramp early on. This is just going to be the fast palace now. Except surely heard there by F-San at least. As he does drop, or oh, she does drop out I should say. Emin does manage to get himself a double kill though. Carcass towards jungle managed to take down fire and go with the AWP. Oh is that Molly going to reach? I don't think it will. That is the bomb planted. A decent eco. One kill and a bomb plant. Certainly a decent eco. Gives the economy a bit of a boost. As they do get the guns out once again here on the seaside. Watching towards the top connect area for any sort of peak. The smoke does come out. That's actually a one way for Emin, but he has been tapped down. Does decide to peek out again and fire and go. Not able to get the timing right and does fall because of it. A ramp control taken by the CT side. The deep ramp smoke came out initially. The Molotov there. Well, to uh, keep control, well, it looks like it is going to be a palace coming out there for F-San as he takes down Paulie. The timing gets Carcass into ramp as well as he takes down Natty. Good synergy there from the CT side. Carcass does actually go down though to Adeline in connector who actually is able to get Capers a headshot as well. Possibly bringing the right side back into the round as F-San peaks her as well. He gets taken down with a headshot. Two versus two. The advantage fallen now but Emin brings it immediately back into the fierce advantage as he takes her down. Emin now along with Hype. Both on the A side playing together it seems at this point. No need to really go separate anywhere. Moda has no utility. Only the AWP as well.
Pipes actually rotated off CT, so possibly he's going to make his way towards B. But Emin, he's keeping him or was keeping himself in place. That gives a free A sight now to Moda. As Emin does get picking out, but unfortunately she misses a shot. And now that Molly will stop her from planting. Oh, she actually runs into it. He missed the default Molly. And he hit. Well, she's not able to hit any shot with the AWP there. As Hype actually kills Emin at the end of the round. Still 5 uh, to 3. Or the fierce side as they look to try and close out Mirage like they did uh, Cash in a very dominating fashion. Pipes made his way into underpass. Firing Girl is going to peek him out, but unfortunately, she's had her head ripped straight off by Hype. So he's going to push out. Unfortunately, does not get the timing right there. Cape is able to get a double kill towards Apps, so that nade should do a fair amount of damage. Oh, actually, doesn't hit. Uh, oh, it doesn't do a single amount, of, a single percentage point of damage there. That's now. Adlin gets taken down. F Sam. Headshotting her into oblivion. The double orp out now on Carcass and Emin. AK for F Sam is recovered from T side. Flash comes out, which actually scares the Z side a little bit, forces them to dump a Molly. Pauly peeks out, oh, but Hype able to save F Sam from Doom that as he peeks from stairs. Will take down Natty in mid as well. Oh, brilliant flash onto Moda that she doesn't fire preemptively as well. That model is actually hit him in, so he's gonna have to rotate off of the palace. KP is able to take down Adeline as well. Fire and go in mid punishes Carcass, and she's got the read on Capers as well. Nice kill onto him as now she moves into the connector. Unfortunately, not able to find anything because that's a good shot there by Moda. A nice little flick on to Hype. Moda is now going to try and peek out. A good shot there on to F Sat. Quickly gets a scope onto him and finishes his the already low HP player. Solitary orb shot all that needed really for Emin. But it looks like she's going to go pistol out first towards mid. But he's going to rotate in. Oh, he gets caught out, but she misses the shot. The only shot, well, the most important shot she really needs to hit. And uh, she does fall back. After oh, Emin gets her, I'm sure, a little bit scared off that. She's going to rotate straight towards A. Emin, not quite sure where he wants to go just yet. Obviously, has no steps, has no idea where the bomb's been planted. He is actually going to go towards B, which is the wrong decision. And that will be a free plant for Moda and give her more of a chance in this round. Eminence realised it's A now. He's going to make his way towards the stairs. The nade comes out and he will be defeated. A nice little 1v3 there by Moda as she gains a fourth round for the right gaming side. Marcus towards mid. Hype actually goes into underpass once again and finds a kill for himself. Carcass just doing work with the org. He is getting peeked out. The flash is coming in to deny it. Uh, two players towards top mid. Oh, no, the scope of Carcass. He doesn't actually realise where firing goal is, but Hype finishes her off. Hype will also take down Moda as Natty now. Last one left alive. Hype does manage to get the headshot and a nice 4k in the round for him. As a reset comes on to that T-side of the clutch from Moda. That clutch was a bit too tall and asking order really for Natty. Oh, the Palace push coming out caught me off guard as well there. <laughs> 
fire and go towards the ramp, unfortunately. Not able to spray through the Deagle, and Hype does get taken down, able to take... Oh, f Sand's actually going very aggressive there. He's only one Deagle shot away, but one AK shot would take down Firing Gun. That's exactly what happened. Big push coming out now. Cape is under the window with the Orb actually gets a P250 headshot, but that is a free plant. The Orb to be recovered for Moda as well. Looks like it's just going to be a default plant. Oh, Emmons made his way out as well. Nice shot there by Moda. As Carcass towards the window, able to get the Orc shots onto Moda. This weapon is so viable now with the money change, and it is so good. An easy headshot at close range with the weapon unscoped, and it will be an 8-4 to four lead. The Eco not panning out uh, just accordingly for the T-side, but certainly should be happy with that. Four kills and the bomb plant going down. They could have had the chance to win the round, but unfortunately just losing that 1v1. It's got to be three orcs now. It looks like a, a CT side are agreeing with me on the opinion on how good the gun really is. I think they've seen Carcass use it for well, it seems like a free kill with that weapon at this point as F-San does go down initially. Not a great game from him. Moda does take down Carcass. The org not working out well for him in this round. He's going to keep pushing up. Oh, God. He's gotten into a great position there. Great movement onto the box and unfortunately only hits her through the wood. Emin pushing into ramp off the flash of hype. Oh, Adlin just on the other side of that smoke. Hype. I'm sure he's aware that someone's close to it, at least anyway. Possibly an engagement coming towards Palace. No, Emin will actually fall off as Allen does take down Hype towards the stairs. Oh, and absolutely ruins Emin there as well. She walks out of connector. A fifth round on board, unless Cape is. Has anything to say about it? A 1v5 necessary. And there we go. Moda takes down Cape. Hyper showing uh, that he was a little bit scared by Allen coming out of the connector area there. Bai does come out once again for the CTs. Unfortunately, it's not going to be the greatest of buys. It will be two orgs, but other than that, there's nothing really to speak of. It will be the three deagles to try and go for that. All oh, a shot missed there by Moda. As F San going to take down Pauli eventually after a bit of a spray whiff coming out from her. Hype though does get traded, which recovers the situation. Harkus with that all getting stuff done as Natty's going to try and make her way out of Palace. Unfortunately, Emin is watching that angle. And again, it looks like a reset on the table for the T-side. As Moda's trying to hold the angle with the AWP, but the nade's coming in. It doesn't look like anyone's going to peek her just yet. It's going to be four people pushing top mid now for the CT side. This carcass on 15 HP does get taken down by the AWP of Moda, who's dropped to 20 HP after she takes a couple AK shots there from f -San, who's also on low HP. Obviously, one shot, off shot on any of these will take them down. Unfortunately, she misses that initial shot, and it is 9 to 5, looking like a 10 to 5 scoreline for this CT side. Already a better game, though, so far from the T side of Riot Gaming, able to get three more rounds than they did on cash. Carcass is unable to, I was going to say he's unable to afford the org, but of course it's 2700 now and it is going to be a straight up fast B. Emmons running away from the uh, angle. Okay. F-San towards B there, does manage to get one. Emin and Carcass come in with the Orcs. The Orcs just so good on the CT side. And it will be a 10-5 to close out from the CT side as F-San gets the jumping headshot with the AK-47. And they move on to their T side. Pissed around necessary for Riot Gaming if they want to continue trying to put up a fight here on Mirage. It's going to be two sets of utility for the T side, something we haven't seen on the pistol just yet. It's actually going to be two sets of utility from the CT side as well. Two kits, a nade, and a smoke. Looks like it is going to possibly 
be the jungle and stair smoke and maybe a CT take. But it looks like it's actually a CT setup. The initial decoy fake. And then the smokes will eventually come out. It is going to be... I'm not quite sure what the smokes are at the moment. It seems that they're not actually doing much. As Capers does manage to eventually trade out Natty. Or oh, Carcass pushes through, gets one headshot, but Moda misses her shots and he will finish her off. A nice headshot. Hype taking down Paulie and it will just be firing go in the one versus three. Hype coming in with this USB, hoping to find the headshot and gets the angle correct. And it goes 11 to 5. Fierce trying to close this out as early as they can, it seems. like decoys are just being thrown right they're buying as many decoys as they can and just throwing them mid trying to bait out this T site I'm trying to bait out this CT site I should say as there is actually a T spawn push that came in from firing golf drops carcass to HP I'm assuming there's some sort of dink that went uh, across onto him as Cape is pushing into mid takes down Adlin. That's actually F San's made his way onto the B site. Cape is taking down one or two players towards mid there. And F San trying to take a fight here towards B. Tries to get dropped to low HP. Paulie just trying to bait for her teammate as she does take down F San. Oh, Emin's coming with the flank as well. It looks like the timing's not going to be great for Emin. And she's actually heard him there. So he does try and go for the knife, but unfortunately it does not work out well. And this is great from Moda. As uh, she sits on that site boost. Hype now. He's made his way onto the site. But Moda, is she aware of where the position will be coming from? And she hits the headshot as he walks out of the market door in a sixth round. Now on the board for Riot Gaming. The buy does come out for the T side. Not a great one. Two AKs certainly can make this work, though the Deagles have been working out well for most of these players. The AKs could be deadly enough on their own. Moda towards bottom connector takes down one, but unfortunately the flank comes in. I believe she was a glass cannon actually as well. Oh, Hype does get dinked from the A site. Manages to keep himself alive though as Adelon takes down Capers. But here comes Emmett. Oh, he spotted out the head there of Natty as well. He's been taken down. Hype takes down Paulie in mid. And that is the one versus three situation. Oh, but the all coming in perfectly here for firing guard. I thought she's going to get Hype as well, but the headshot comes in with the Deagle. Great by him in the round. That's what I said. The Deagles could be so effective. Emin makes it work with the AK on A site as well. And the reset does come on to the CTs. Well, they do manage to scrape some sort of buy, but it's not great. Only one M4. And it looks like it's going to be a glass cannon Nova, really. Well, it's not, I suppose, not glass cannon at that point. More of a glass cannon water gun at that point. As a uh, motor... It takes down one, gets a second as well. Good recovery into the ranks from the two kills went initially towards the C tires. Emin able to take down one as well. Capers will finish off Adeline and at least fire and go on one HP towards the B site. She makes her way into market, hoping to possibly find someone going for a bit of an aggressive frag, but it doesn't look possible. Oh, just waiting alone outside B. Looks like the fierce boys having to make sure that this bomb is secure. Oh, hyper. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, quite sure he was spooked by Emin there. That was more of a manual feed. Yeah, Emin retaliates with a nice headshot onto Hype. Making sure that Hype can do no more damage to his team. It's more of a, a hero justice. Firing girl now actually put into one versus one. She nearly wins it as well, dropping Emin to free HP. So unlucky for her. And she goes to 13 to 6. 
reinforced by it not panning out for the Riot Gaming side. Unfortunately, they're going to have to move on, come up with a new plan, as it is three rounds away from match point and series point for the fierce side here. And then takes down firing goal. Okay, Piz will take down Adlin as well. Looks like the Zico is going to be opening, well, an open and closed case at this point, but it looks like Capers is just going to make sure that's true. There we go. The MP5 comes in. Carcass doing a good job with his AK as well. The buy does come out for the CT size. It goes 14 to 6. One round away from map point and series point. A few points needed to make it. A BO3 win in the 2 0 fashion, in quite dominating fashion as well, at that. Smoke there towards CT now. The A smoke's coming out as Natty actually gets that initial kill. Going to be a second kill by Firing Go as well. Looks like she is trying to peek over that smoke. Oh, Emin stuck. Smoke, I think he's realised that. But he's actually able to jump through. Adlin drops down as well. I'm sure that's going to be quite infuriating for Capers, who gets taken. That's a nice shot there by Carcass. Certainly not someone I'd want to face in a 1v2. But oh, the CC side, they're playing this well now. Just going for the retake, waiting for the bomb go down. Looks like there's someone watching City and someone watching for the jungle push. Looks like Arcus is going to try and push it now, but unfortunately aims a little bit too high as Firing Girl is couching, and that will be a 7th round on the board for her now. Free man Deagle by coming out again for this T side. Double AKs as well. Going to be a straight up rush B from a couple of these players. Good counter flashes though from the CT side so far. Good molly as well. Carcass is left in no man's land there as Emin comes out with the deagle. Emin's actually able to pick up the auto shotgun as well. And that will be the XM kill on Dadlin Hype. A deagle shot in towards top connector. And then it's the A site open. But Hype's still trying to push in to be there with this AK 47, it seems. And he spots out Moda, gets the headshot, a reset onto the CT side. Map, match and series points secured. Fierce. Really showing up in this best of three so far. It doesn't look like it is unfortunately going to go to the third map of Overpass. <laughs> a bit of an awkward flash there from Hype as Moda is just trying to fire away with that Deagle on towards A, but uh, on towards mid I should say, but unfortunately not able to find it as Carcass does take down Paulie. Emin takes down Natty as well. Oh, nearly a bit of a whiff from uh, Emin, but he does manage to survive as Hype actually gets taken down after dinking Emin, I believe that. And it will be the one versus three. Emin possibly is close. I would know, maybe Carcass is going to crouch under the angle and does not get the kill. That Molly oh, nearly takes down Moda. She's going to try and get back towards the market area. f actually takes quite a bit of damage from his own molly. 1v2 though, Moda's position known by f -San. She goes for the, the timing, not correct for her. And f -San will close it out in a 2-0 fashion for this fierce esports side. Carcass standing in for the Cape is coming in for this game as well. Right game, but fight on Mirage, not quite the same, obviously, on Cash. However, Fierce really showing what they can do in this... Uh, game Max Dare to Win Show Match. Thank you again, everyone, for watching today. Obviously, we'll have another one hopefully coming up next month. Uh, make sure you check out Fierce Esports on Twitter at Fierce Esports. Make sure you check out Right Gaming as well at Right Gaming. Uh, please, obviously, check out the sponsor Game Max, uh, who are doing fantastic stuff over there. And thank you for that to them and to Fierce for letting me cast this match today. Obviously, congrats to the Fierce side. So they take it 2 0, 16 2, and 16 7. I will just leave it on the advert screen and then i will leave you again for today thank you all for joining us